How do you go from this to this? Well, hang on a minute. Let me show you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today for a cast build. That's right. We're going to be in Creator Sim. So if you like my content and you like to have a little fun, then please consider liking, subscribing, following, commenting, hit that notification bell. Just do all the things. So yes, I am building a sim called Desmond Twist. And he is going to be the start of my next series called A Twist of Fate. So throughout this video, I will be talking about some of what I'm doing with him. But I'm going to be talking more about the next series. Now, what happens is I... When I know that I'm about to end the series, I go ahead and build my Sims and the residence that I need for the next series. Now, I don't plan much other than the very general storyline. I do not write scripts, any of that. This is all my imagination, people. So if I seem to go off the rails a little bit, that's because I was off the rails to start, okay? <laughs> So yes, um, Desmond is going to be the star of a series that I'm tentatively naming a twist of fate. It could change, but I kind of like it. Now I had a vote a few months ago asking, did you want a Sims for who done it next? Or did you want a groom that had a runaway bride? You chose the mystery. So we are currently doing that mystery. And that is called, is this a mystery? So <laughs> a Sims 4 who done it. But I've got a couple of series that's nearing the end. So I decided I need to build Desmond. And at the end of this video, I won't show you the other player's build in cast but i will definitely show them to you because i'm gonna have desmond his father his best friend his fiance and her grandmother and that's who you're gonna see right now there are some other players but i'm not gonna show you them at this time now I started with one sim that was randomized, but as you can see, I'm changing the facial structure up a bit. All I do is find a sim that I can work with, and then I go piece by piece. So yes, I have already changed Desmond's chin and eye shape and cheeks. I changed quite a bit. <laughs> so now the thing that always takes me the longest in cast is the hair. So I'm just flipping back and forth to try to pick what I want. Now, the other thing I am trying to remember is that Desmond is a young adult right now. So I'm going to tell you a friend how this series is going to work. Desmond will be a young adult for one episode, I feel. It could be two, but then we're going to time jump forward. So at this point, I'm building him. He's going to be about 25 years old and with the fiance ready to get married. He is a loyal sim and we will look at traits later, but he's ready to commit. He knows that and it's nothing wrong with that at that age, but not a spoiler alert. <laughs> we already know that he's going to be the victim of a runaway bride. And that's what those first, the first episode is going to be about. Now, the next time you see him, we're going to immediately time jump him to a older adult. And so in my mind, he's going to be about 47, 48. So if you watch my series, I've shown you sounds that we start as flashbacks as teenagers i've started some sims at 48 50 years old i like playing my sims ages across the spectrum which is one reason that the fiance his fiance that i'll show you later i built her a grandmother because i like to play different life stages in the sim this is how i keep my gameplay interesting now i'm gonna put him some clothes on one set for each thing except for his winter outfit i'll give him two but I'm trying hard not to put too much effort in it, but the one thing I do want to put the effort in is his outfit now, his formal outfit, because this is what he's going to be wearing on his wedding day. Now, Desmond has um, some longer flowing hair, and he's got some loose curls. He's got texture in the hair, so... 
yeah if it were straight it'd be really long but this is how he wears it right now and he also has a really good support system in his dad and his best friend so yes he is from tamarang and his dad is from there now heads up my story will not take place in tamarang i may do the wedding scene there again i just kind of feel my way through sometimes but after this cast video and you see all of the players what you'll see as i go through the ends of I think I have two series that are close to wrapping up. As I go through the ends, you will see me dropping these videos that where I'm preparing for a twist of fate. So you will see this cast bill. You will see a hotel bill. And oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll talk about that later because that was a task, but I had fun doing it. Um, building, I think I built seven cents right up front for with desmond so that took me quite a while to do that many sims but it didn't take me long to do desmond so i am putting him in tamarani outfits as much as possible because i really like the cast items for that pack and you actually get a lot of male clothing in the four rent pack so like this shirt he's wearing i love it so i'm going to get him dressed out but he was dating a woman that is from Tamarang too, and they met um, a couple years ago. But it was for Desmond, it was love at first sight, and I do believe it was for her as well. Like they have a hundred percent relationship, and that's for friendship and romance. They don't have any out of the box crazy problems so part of this series is going to be understanding like or him understanding why did she run because it would be easier to understand something like that if there were these giant glaring problems but they only had normal everyday couple stuff you know like being frustrated because the person didn't pick this up after themselves or put this in this place just random things like that like there were no crazy issues going on i'm gonna talk about his traits when we get to that but i did put a couple of traits that just like in real life you have traits that could be they could be a strength but if you don't have balance with that trait it could be a weakness so they have those traits but overall they were really compatible and are in a good match so this is going to be a love story i'm going to do this time jump 15 18 years maybe 18 years i think that's my magic number and what my stories are when we get to these ages are just to show that hey you can find love again you can start a new career you can go back to school you can just it doesn't even have to be that drastic you can change and you can do things differently if you decide that hey this is not how i want my life to go or i'm not happy with this aspect so this is why i show sins of all ages because you can make changes if you're 15 or 16 and you can make them if you're 55 honey and so um take it from somebody who is living this life so yes yeah so anyway desmond is I think I may change this family oriented trait. So I want to really read the difference between loyal and faithful because I do have some modern traits by a uh, maple bell, I believe. And I'm sorry if that's the wrong modern, but she's got a few key traits that are good. He is going to be uh, the child of Tamaran, whatever that chart is called where they can release the lanterns but he's rooted in that community even though he's not going to live there so how he leads the rest of his life will be influenced by that he's unconventional he is a gadget 
a gadget head like he loves tech okay <laughs> the unconventional side of him is he's just kind of free-flowing like look at how he dresses um he's in good shape too but he's a thick guy and hey i love me a thick guy <laughs> i like any any size all shapes sizes colors so as you can tell with my sims he is ambitious so he's laid back in how he's dressed but ambitious he wants to be a he wants to be a landowner a successful landowner and so that is going to be his aspiration so he is balanced overall Desmond can seem too laid back and that's because of his child of the village trade and his unconventional trade however he is an ambitious sim and that's going to help him with his five-star property owner aspiration now i'm going to jump over to show you his father oscar twist this is Oscar in the first episode. He will be about 49.50. Now I'm good about setting edges at first. And then later as I play, I know that they're getting older. I don't know how old sometimes. But as I click through his outfits, I'm going to talk about his traits. But yes, this is Desmond's father, Oscar Twist. He is family oriented. Um, his trait that could be bad if not moderated is that he is nosy he wants to know everything that's going on he is self-assured and he is also very sincere if he says that you can trust it because he is built into that value he is a child of the ocean from tamarain so he does like to get in and take a dip and he is on the successful lineage track meaning he wants to see his only child desmond do well i'm gonna jump over to desmond's fiance next this is michelle duran now michelle is very beautiful she is a tamarani native as well she is family oriented she is a faithful sim which may be a modded trait and she is also creative and musical. So she's very musical. She plays um, several different instruments. It's what she loves to do. She sings. So yeah, that's Michelle. And she is also warm hearted. So she is just very sweet to everyone. And those are all of her immediate traits. Now, I love the more trace mod, but they can continue to build additional trace still in the game now. She is also on the family track. So basically, she would like to see her familial relationships grow strong. That is her thing. So this is Michelle. I just love her now going over to desmond's best friend jai perry this is jai jai is warm-hearted he is an old soul that's definitely a modern trait he is a vegetarian and he's a bro <laughs> and maybe the laid back he's so laid back just like desmond and he grew up in tamarang too so these are all local tamarani people and again the series will not take place there but he is warm-hearted and maybe that and him being a bro desmond is laid back so they just gel like they are just smooth and that is why they are best friends now he's a neighborhood confidant meaning he wants people to confide in him he gives good advice you can trust him with your secrets he's not gonna gossip him so john's just a good dude he's a good dude so now going over let's talk about michelle's best friend mckenna mesa now mckenna is i said they were all from tamarain but she is not she actually was from san salvadorada and when she came to tamarain to visit her grandmother then 
I'm sorry, when she came to visit her grandfather, she uh, comes back all the time and she met Michelle there and they just became fast friends. So she's got slightly different styles. She's beautiful Sim, but yeah, she's from San Salvador. She is cheerful. <laughs> she is not committal. Like she's She's going to give Michelle good advice because she loves her. She does not want her. She's a good friend. But she also doesn't understand, like, girl, why do you want to get married? Now, she's a romantic, hedonistic, unfaithful, <laughs> but she is a cheerful sim. Now, she is on, McKenna is on the serial romantic track. So bring on the boyfriends, bring on the woohoo partners. It's all good to her, but she is a good friend. Now, let's meet the matriarch extraordinaire, Frances Duran. So this is Michelle's grandmother. Now, one thing that I'll tell you right up front is that Michelle lost her mother a few years back. It was unexpected. It really affected her. But thank goodness for her grandma. She's still going strong. They have such a tight-knit relationship. And grandmother is wise, which I have not played with this new trait yet. But I'm so excited to get some gameplay with it now this game will this <laughs> this story will focus primarily on desmond but there will be a little bit of rotational gameplay it may it will not be like every episode is a different one of these sims no but you're gonna see these sims you're gonna dip over into the different households because this is gonna be a story that i want you to really get into but she is also a child of the village so her and desmond get along great they have these similar traits from the same place he's so respectful to her and she loves him she's a bookworm she is a minimalist she doesn't need a lot of bells and whistles she was a hard worker growing up and so she just she needs what she needs and a little extra she is also generous and her track is a fount of tamarani knowledge so that is a locational trait and that is grandma francis <laughs> so this is our twist of fate initial cast I'm telling you now, I already made at least a couple of more sims because we're going to get into it with this. I'm calling them a family for now because they are friends and family. So I hope you enjoyed this cast build. And until next time, remember, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.